the next thing we're going to do is uh, sew the side seams. I've already sewn one side. I'm going to show you how to sew the side seam. So you've matched pin the bottom, the armhole, and the sleeve part here. We're going to sew that with a 3 8 inch seam. Again. When you come here and you, you if you can't judge where your 3 8 and your 3 8 will be, using uh, a ruler or uh, I can't find my uh, guide right now, mark your 3 8 inch seam here, measure here, get your 3 8 and then pretty much uh, follow pivot at that point. So I'm using my guide, my foot as my guide, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Get up here. I took my auto down. Okay, and when I pivot, it should be at my 3 8 inch. So you see that the foot is a 3 8. So instead of following what I marked, I'm just using my guide because I didn't have a ruler. corner. Make sure I take my pins out. Okay, remember that corner that uh, you made here? See, I marked it too much. Okay. You're going to clip into that area, okay? Because when you invert it, you need to have that um, clip, or otherwise it won't turn. So you're going to cut it around. Let me put the light on so you can kind of see this. Almost, almost an eighth to the corner. You don't want to cut to the corner. You're going to cut your thread. Stop about an eighth. Now we have to reinforce that, and what we're going to use is uh, twill tape. And what twill tape does is um, stabilizes that corner. It won't stretch like bias tape. Okay, this is not bias tape. This is twill tape. I've cut a four-inch piece, and three to four-inch, you know, I just like to have a, a nice uh, big area so I can start sewing it. And what you're going to do is follow... Follow this seam, so which is three eighths. I'm going to do it about two inches, so two is a half part, and I'm going to start put my needle in about mm, half an inch before I get to the tape. Use my three eighth as a seam, and don't worry if you're one side or the other side. As long as you get it, you uh, get the seam tape caught. So I'm going to again sew here. I'm going to the corner where it's uh, the 3 8 yep that's it I measured it now I'm turning the body but I'm not turning the twill tape the twill tape is still going straight okay I'm, I'm actually where we clipped in I'm stretching it out not stretching but turning it so that I can pivot the armhole yet my twill tape is still going straight and I'm going to sew this down Again, about half an inch past of my thread, and you will see on the back side, I pretty much went over the same stitching line I put this. Now this twill tape, because it doesn't stretch, it gives support here when you move or when you turn. So let's see, you're going to invert your sleeve. Here's the corner. So the corner is pretty strong. If you did not pull the twill tape, if you went like this, it would just rip right over here. So you need to put the twill tape. Okay, so I've done the other side already too. So what we're going to do next is serge of the seams. Okay, so I have a serger and we're going to start side and I like the twill tape part up um, I applied it to the back side um, so it 
you know, it doesn't, you don't see it so much from the front. Um, so that when you surge, you can, you can kind of see where you're going. Make sure whenever you use a serger, be careful that your garment is not caught in the serger because there's a cutting blade that's going to cut and you don't want to, you know, cut your garment. So, I'm going to serge the edge. And when you come to the corner where you nipped or you clipped into, okay, make sure you turn, watch it underneath. And you're going to just continue on, and there's going to be a gap, but that don't cut your don't cut your surging through. Just let it hang like that, okay? Because it's not going to bother with the fit of the garment. There's one side surge, and you can see how this thing let a loop hang, let it let it hang like that, okay? And then so now we've got a two side surge. Now we're going to do the uh, the neckband. Remember when we sewed it, we sewed the body on the top. Now when we surge uh, the neckline, we want the band on the top. And the reason is when you surge the band, it's going to start flipping like this and you can see inside, so you want this to be the nice part. So, I'm going to turn the neckline. Again, being careful, don't get your body caught in there. Especially around when you start coming toward the curved part of the neck, move um check underneath make sure nothing is getting caught part of what i'm doing is holding my hand under like this so i can kind of hold the garment away uh, from the machine the bottom part okay, okay so now what we're going to do is pretty much finish with all the sewing. We're, we're going to the hemming. So you have pretty much a jacket sewn like this. We're going to come to the hem and finishing off the bottom here. What you need to do is go to your iron. We're done with it. It's nice and hot. Okay. You're gonna turn up one quarter inch. Okay, so you can you can measure, but I, I just eyeball it, you know, because it's it's not going to make any difference on the fit of the garment. It's just going to uh, give you a nice straight edge. And what you want to do is face your seams uh, toward the front, even on the sleeve. Make sure you uh, face it toward the front. It helps you when you start hemming. You don't have to think um, which way was I supposed to face all this stuff. Um, and you don't want it twisted, one going front and one, go one going to the back. So I'm just, as you can see, just ironing about a quarter inch. And again, if you want to, you can mark it, but it's, to me, not a big thing. And same thing from here. If you're coming to the front, make sure that uh, seam faces the front. And while we're at it, let's um, do the same thing on the, sh on the uh, sleeve. Now on the sleeve, remember we left the salvage edge on it. Some salvages you'll find uh, will have a white strip or it will have the name of the manufacturer on it or it'll have pukas like dots on it. Use that as a guide and use that as your fold line. So sometimes it might be a half an inch. This one is pretty good. There's not, no marking. So again, I am going to make the seam face to the right, um, to the front. So I want this to face to the front. So I have the seam allowance face to the front. Okay. So, because I don't have anything I have to worry about here, I'm going to just fold it 
quarter inch. And again, depending on what kind of salvage you have. So do the same thing. This is going to help you uh, when you start doing the machine hem and you don't have to uh, fold. I don't recommend surging because you can see it when uh, you can see inside your sleeve or at, uh, at the bottom hem when you wear your hoppy coat. So you want it to have a nice clean finish. So. The sleeve, we're going to give it a, a one inch hem allowance. Okay, so you're going to use, uh, I have misplaced my guide, but okay. Measure up about one inch, pin it. So you're going to have about a one inch hem allowance on your sleeve. And the reason I want a nice big one on here is because um, it's pretty much visible when you're eating, um, when you're talking, uh, people can see inside your sleeve a little bit. So want that, that have a nice finish over there. So uh, one inch, so it's, it's good enough. You, you kind of need to pin it. So, you know, unless you can really gauge it easily, um, I, need, I need to pin it. The bottom, remember we had a one inch uh, hem allowance. So the hem is going to be only three quarters of an, uh, three quarters of an inch. Okay. And... What you're going to do first is uh, block this corner where we had, remember we uh, left it finished, unfinished like this. I'm going to fold up the bottom flush with the band. Okay, so the band is here. Fold it like you're wrapping it. Okay, wrap it. Go back to your machine. 3 8 inch seam allowance, right? So, and that's uh, it, share. Okay. okay, we are going to hem the bottom now. And basically, I usually don't pin the bottom because I can kind of judge uh, three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to just start sewing this bottom. So start back stitch. And then, and, you know, so if you want to pin the bottom so it makes it easier for you. Otherwise, you so continue stitching like this. And my thread has just run out. So make sure you don't run out of thread. Pretty much looks like this, so sorry. Yep, my bobbin thread is hung up. Uh, I run out. So what you want to do is do this. Uh, do the sleeve the same way. You, you you folded it, hem it the same way, and you're going to end up with your hoppy coat. Give it a final press, and you're done.